Throughout my time in the Dragon Ball community, I've heard talk of Goku's many mistakes, and while I listed some of them off in my 5 times Goku messed up video, there was one a number of commenters seemed to think was worse than all the rest, and needed inclusion. This mistake takes place during the Cell game saga of Dragon Ball Z, right after Goku's epic fight with Cell, and just before the villain and Goku's son Gohan began their climactic battle that would decide the arc. And this mistake was when Goku gave Cell a Sensu Bean. And while on the surface this seems like a terrible and costly mistake, I question if it really is much of one at all, or really had that much of an impact on what happens next. Goku and Cell went back and forth during their battle, exchanging blows, energy blasts, and using a number of different techniques. And of course, the biggest moment of this battle came when Goku charged up his signature Kamehameha and teleported right in front of Cell, blasting him at point-blank range, destroying the upper part of his body. Naturally, Cell used his regeneration to reconstitute himself, and the battle continued before both fighters were tired and Goku Goku gave up, realizing he couldn't win. However, while Goku was going all out during this encounter, Cell was not even close to his full power, and even taunted Goku by telling him he could use a Sensu Bean. So it's clear that despite Cell breathing heavily and showing the signs of battle, he still had a lot of energy to spare. And considering we never saw Cell use his full power until he was forced to during his fight with Gohan, it's likely that he could have still defeated defeated any one of the Z fighters in this weakened state, if not all of them combined. Another part to this is that Goku realized that Gohan would be overwhelmingly strong, even compared to Cell at full power, if he unleashed his hidden power through his rage and desperation. As Gohan was already stronger than Goku and the others as a full-powered Super Saiyan, and Goku knew that Gohan still had more than that within him. And as we saw later on, when Gohan became a Super Saiyan 2, this is exactly what happened, as even Cell, who had taken the Sensu Bean and barely exerted himself in the fight against Gohan up until this point, couldn't do anything to Gohan even at full power. And while some contend that Cell got a Zenkai from eating the Sensu Bean, this is unlikely since he wasn't really brought to near death as he was from his self-destruction, and that explosion was the only time he was implied to have been given one. Another argument is that Cell was able to create the Cell Juniors in part because of his recovery from the Sensu Beans. But if anything, them beating the Z Fighters helped facilitate Gohan's transformation, so it's arguable that this helped far more than it hurt. So with all of this said and done, the question remains as to if this was really a mistake on Goku's part. On one hand, you could say yes because he was aiding his enemy, but when you look at everything that happened after this, him helping Cell proved totally irrelevant, and may have actually helped his plan of Gohan unleashing his hidden power. So while the sentiment of giving Cell a fair fight and not letting Gohan take advantage of him may have been misguided, this is hardly Goku's biggest mistake and shouldn't really be regarded as such by so many in this community. Because really, in the end, End, it's not that big of a mistake at all. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and enable notifications so you can see all of my content right away when it comes out. Yeah, and you better subscribe, enable those damn notifications.